A very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Turkmenistan today to begin his official visit to the country in response to the invitation he received from the Turkmen president, Garban Guli Berdi Mohamedov, where they exchanged talks on bolstering bilateral ties and increasing cooperation at various levels and discussed regional and international developments and topics of mutual interest. His Majesty the King was received at the Ashgabat International Airport by the Turkmen Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs. Minister Rashid Meridov and Bahraini Ambassador to Turkmenistan Dr. Yusuf Al Abdullah. His Majesty the King was welcomed according to Turkmen customs and was saluted by guards of honor. Then His Majesty departed in an official parade to his residence. On the occasion, His Majesty made a statement in which he expressed pleasure in visiting Turkmenistan and thanks to the Turkmen President for his invitation and warm welcome, which affirms the solid brotherly relations and the two countries' keenness on bolstering them to a strategic partnership in various fields. His Majesty added that the visit embodies the deep-rooted bilateral relations and is an opportunity to meet with the Turkmen president to discuss these ties and the means of enhancing them for the interest of the two countries and their people. His Majesty noted the model Turkmenistan represents in positive neutrality, which is based on the UN principles of maintaining peace, security, mutual respect and non-interference. He asserted that this policy provides opportunities to bolster cooperation on all sides, especially commerce, investment and tourism in light of the two countries' strategic weights. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at his residence in the capital of Turkmenistan, Ashgabat, the ambassador of Saudi Arabia, Khalid bin Faisal Al Sahli, at the charge of the affairs of the United Arab Emirates Embassy in Turkmenistan, Abdulaziz Al Hashmi, to greet His Majesty the King upon his official visit to the country. His Majesty the King welcomed the Saudi ambassador and the charge of the affairs of the UAE Embassy and reviewed their brotherly relations, hailing the deep rooted ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the UAE as well as the advanced level of cooperation and joint cooperation at all levels to serve joint interests and aspirations. His Majesty expressed pride in the honorable stances of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the President of the UAE, Zayn al Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, that support the kingdom and its people and reflect the deep-rooted relations between the countries and their people. They exchanged friendly talks and reviewed a number of issues of common interest. His Majesty expressed appreciation to the efforts of Saudi Arabia and the UAE in serving joint Gulf work supporting Arab and Islamic causes and establishing security and stability in the region. For their part, the Saudi ambassador and the charge of the affairs of the UAE embassy expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts in consolidating broadly relations between Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, hailing the visit of His Majesty to Turkmenistan, which contributes to strengthening relations between Bahrain and Turkmenistan in particular as well as the Gulf Turkmenistan relations. The official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Republic of Turkmenistan reflects the importance of relations between the two countries. The visit represents an opportunity to consolidate relations and enhance joint cooperation in various fields, especially in the economic field, for the interests of both countries. The visit came at the invitation of the President of the Friendly Republic of Turkmenistan, Gurban Guli Bardi Mohamedo, which affirms the keenness of the two leaderships to strengthen relations and increase cooperation in various fields. These bilateral relations are an example of relations based on mutual respect and fostering common strategic interests. Bahrain was the first country to send a delegation to visit the Republic after its independence. In 2011, the Turkmen president visited the Kingdom of Bahrain, in which he held official talks with His Majesty the King and signed a number of agreements between the two sides to enhance bilateral relations in various fields. His Majesty the King honored the Turkmen president with the Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa Medal of the Excellence Class. The visit affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to bolster ties with brotherly and friendly countries in light of its regional and international acceptance under the leadership of His Majesty the King. 
His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Chairman of Bahrain Red Crescent Society, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and members of the Board of Directors at Trafal Palace. The Deputy King noted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support to humanitarian efforts that promote charity work and volunteerism across the kingdom. He reiterated Bahrain's commitment to continuous supporting humanitarian initiatives and praised Bahrain Red Crescent Society's humanitarian endeavors. The Deputy the King expressed appreciation to all those who have de dedicated their talents and resources to charitable organizations and causes. For their part, the Chairman and the Board of Directors expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, and for his continuous support to ongoing humanitarian efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited the Gravity Village today where he was briefed on its services that enhance the tourism and entertainment fields in the kingdom. During the visit, His Royal Highness affirmed that the services provided by Gravity Village and Gravity Indoor Skydiving represents an advanced model for the integration of investment projects that serve all sectors of tourism, including sports and leisure tourism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister pointed out that attracting major global brands in Gravity Village will enhance its ability to attract visitors. He affirmed the government's support for all projects that provide the citizens and visitors of the kingdom with all the elements of sports and leisure tourism. His Royal Highness stressed the keenness of the government to support the sports and tourism sector and to promote investment in them as an important economic pillar on which many countries depend on developing their national economy. Under the patronage of the Royal Guard Commander His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a graduation ceremony of the Royal Guard New Recruits session. After a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, the graduates presented a practical demonstration. Then a briefing was given on the session and its theoretical and practical programs. His Highness Sheikh Nasser then delivered the following speech. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ikhwan, we are khawati. Marreitu bwagt sa'ab. Marreitu fi tadribat in jadda. Walakin fi nahayat hadha al-amr. Ana mitakkid. Min shu'urkum al-an. Mitakkid. من شعور أهاليكم ومحبيكم ومتأكد أن بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى وبدعم قيادتنا الرشيدة وعلى رأسهم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهد عاهل البلاد المفدى قائدنا الأعلى أن هذه المهمة راح تتواصل نتوارثها جيل بعد جيل أمانة المدربين اللي دربوكم حسن التدريب وسخروا وقتهم لكم وسهروا الليل معاكم وجلسوا من أول الفجر معاكم إلا أنهم حريصين على أن هذه النوعية هي النوعية اللي راح تستحق هذه البريهة وراح تستحق هذا المكان وراح تستحق هذه الأمانة لا تنسون باتجاه اليمين من الخريجين نجد صرح الشهداء صرح الأبطال من هذه الوحدة وهالشهداء وهؤلاء الأبطال 
الذين ذادوا وارواحهم دفاعا عن الدين والحق وقفوا نفس مكانكم اللي انتم واقفينه وحسوا بنفس الشعور اللي انتم حسيتوه به ومروا بنفس التدريبات اللي مريتوا فيها فارجو منكم انكم انتم تعرفون مكانه هذا العمل عن أهمية هذا العمل وأرجو منكم أيضا أنكم تشوفون للمستقبل ومستقبلكم بالأخص وتكونون محترفين في عملكم وتكونون أبطال لهذا البلد وتواصلون هذه المسيرة وتواصلون هذه الأمانة هذا العمل يا أخوان ويا أخواتي أصبحت مهمتنا كبيرة والجدية فيها عالية فأرجو منكم التحلي بها والتحلي بالصبر والقوة والعزيمة والإرادة وأنكم بعد فترة وجيزة تمررون هذه الخبرة وهذه المعلومات للذين راح يوقفون مكانكم من الخريجين ومن القادمين من أبطال من أبناء وبنات مملكة البحرين وأيضا أريد أن أخاطب الأهالي الموجودين معنا اليوم أبغى أقول لكم بس شيء واحد افتخروا بهالرجال وافتخروا بهالنساء لأنهم قاموا بأعمال بطولية واستحقوا مكانتهم بكل جدارة وإصرار شكرا مرة ثانية the graduates were sworn in, then the Royal Guard commander presented them with certificates and prizes of appreciation and honored them with the Royal Guard badge. The graduation ceremony was attended by the Officers and Individuals Affairs Director, Major General Mohammed Abdullah Al Ahmed, Royal Guard Deputy Commander, Major General Hamad Khalifa Naimi, Military Training Director, Major General Salah Rashid Al Saad, Senior BDF and Interior Ministry Officers, and the graduates' families. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa deputized the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ahmed Al Mu'ayyid, to honor the winners of the third edition of His Highness's Arabian Horse Show in the presence of a number of senior officials. His Highness affirmed that this championship relates to the heritage of the kingdom, which comes in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to nurture Arabian horses and support all activities relating to horses. He added that the championship showcased the good image of the kingdom and its civilization, its heritage, and and its history. His Highness praised the organizing of brief and the participating stables from Bahrain, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia, which made the kingdom the appropriate place for owners to showcase their talents. He also praised the efforts of the organizing committee led by His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa for their efforts in ensuring the success of the event, which reflects the capabilities of Bahraini caterers in hosting international events. His Highness congratulated the winning stables, the Minister of Youth and Sports, then crowned the winners. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, received today the UAE's President of the Federal National Council, Dr. Amal Kabesi, where they signed a cooperation agreement with the aim of activating and institutionalizing parliamentary cooperation and consolidating common visions in various issues. The Representatives Council Speaker affirmed the depth of relations between Bahrain and the UAE, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and their keenness to strengthen 
cooperation. She added that the Representatives Council is proceeding with steady steps and with the support of the Bahraini leadership, adding that the Bahraini-Emirati relations represent a distinctive model in joint cooperation for the interests of the two countries and their two brotherly people. She praised the vital role of the UAE Federal National Council at the local, Gulf and international levels. For her part, UAE's president of the Federal National Council said that the leadership and vision of His Majesty the King and the reform project has achieved a qualitative leap in the course of democratic action and an unprecedented step in the field of political and economic reforms. She praised the deep bilateral relations and expressed pride in the empowerment of Bahraini and Emirati women. She expressed the Council's keenness of strengthened parliamentary cooperation with the Council of Representatives and its appreciation for electing the first Bahraini woman as a Speaker of the Council of Representatives. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by the Chairman Ali bin Saleh Salah. The Council approved the Decree Law No. 50 of 2018, which amends the provisions of the Trade Law No. 7 of 1987. The Council then approved Decree Law No. 59 of 2018 to amend the provisions of the laws that regulate the civil sector as per Law 36 of 2012. Following this, the Council approved Decree Law No. 27 of 2005 on education, which allows the Ministry of Education to deal with students of special needs with greater discretion. The Council concluded its meeting by approving the amendment of the paragraph A of Article 242 of Decree Law No. 21 of 2001, which regulates commerce and trade. Under the patronage of the Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Governorate held an honoring ceremony for the authorities who contributed to the success of the camping season of 2018 to 19, held from November 17, 2018 to March 17, 2019, in the presence of a number of under secretaries, government authorities, and general directors at the Ministry of Interior, as well as a number of officials and individuals at the Ministry Senior Club. He stated that the Bahraini society's openness and the partnership between its various sectors are a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in developing societal security and services work between community members. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali added that the directives of the Minister of Interior General Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in establishing the pillars of security and stability in the southern governorate and all the annual occasional have occasion have contributed effectively to making clear security achievements that include various security sectors and authorities. The southern governor honored the representatives of the cooperating authorities. The ceremony concluded with presenting His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali with an appreciation gift from the organizers. In an open introductory meeting, the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, met with a group of 80 nurses from the new batch of 150 newly recruit nurses in the Ministry of Health and stressed the importance of their noble profession in developing the health services in the kingdom. More in this report by Habab Al Ghaffar. Nursing is a critical field that has a great impact on patients and their well-being. That's why the Ministry of Health considers nursing the forefront of change in healthcare and public health, putting patients as their top priority. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, expressed her appreciation of the new group of Angels of Mercy and her pride in Bahraini qualified cadres who studied and learned in order to serve the nation and work in this noble humanitarian profession to serve the patients and meet their needs. She pointed out that the ministry is working continuously to attract qualified Bahraini health professionals to join the current staff in various health facilities, stressing on the importance of their orientation, training and awareness of their duties and rights to maintain high-quality health services in the kingdom. From their part, the nurses were thankful for their new jobs and really motivated to fulfill their national duty. It taught us about the responsibilities and what we should do as a nurses and uh, what we should expect from the ministry. It was um, just a great honor to meet with the minister and uh, 
I hope that I would leave on a good effect in the Ministry of Health. What's our duties and uh, what we can give in the future. And uh, uh, thanks for her for uh, promoting us in our job and uh, promoting the nursing professional uh, in Bahrain and helping the Bahraini people to develop uh, themselves uh, for uh, our future, inshallah. The Minister of Health affirmed that all officials in the ministry will be at the support of the newly recruited staff, but every employee should also start from within, submit proposals and innovative ideas to contribute to the development of the health sector. Reporting for Bahrain International, M. Heba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain's National Bureau for Revenue today announced that the launch of a VAT refund desk at the Bahrain International Airport, launched in collaboration between the Bahrain Airport Company and Planet, the new desk offers VAT refund solutions for tourists and non-residents visiting Bahrain, as well as citizens residing abroad. The VAT refund desk uses an integrated system that allows VAT refund claims on local purchases from over 300 retail outlets across the kingdom. Claimers are required to present their passport entry visa permits, GCC national IDs or residency permits for Bahraini nationals living abroad when shopping via VAT-free. Claimers need to request the VAT-free tags available at retail stores upon completing their purchase. The tags can be attached to receipts which will be validated along with purchased goods at the VAT refund desk during checkout. Refunds will be paid in cash or via credit debt card account provided by the claimer.